Welcome to Three Minutes with Art 2. I am a radiological scientific officer, and this is our survival complex. One of the most important things in a shelter is being able to move air through the shelter, and that is what this video is about. One cannot just go in and shut the doors. Breathing will eventually replace the oxygen with carbon dioxide, and the occupants will suffocate. So we have two large external fans. One of the parts of moving air around the shelter is that we have these large fans. They're called fire fans, actually, but because they're used by the fire department, people like that. But uh, uh, we have these big fans that we can move various places in the shelter to move air in or out. When the diesel generators are running, they suck in air through all open outside vents. The simplest way to bring in air is through the heavy steel grates that we can lock at the top and bottom of every entrance. We might put up a wet sheet to filter the air. Years ago, we bought expensive one micron filters, but now we know that a wet bed sheet is all that is needed. Even if there is no power, one must still move the air. On our website, there are simple plans on how to build and use a Kearney air pump. Okay, well, anyway, this is my uh, last cut here of the wire. Hmm, there I got it. The theory is that when we pull this against the air, the air presses down on these flaps and pulls the air in. And when we let it swing back, these flaps will all flap up against the air resistance so they won't push the air back out and let the air flow in. So this is the idea of the pump and we pump the air then into the shelter with this Kearney air pump. Well, one of the many ways that we move air around the shelter are with these bicycle pumps. And what they have on the front of them is a squirrel cage. This is our earliest and first design that we had. And, uh, this, uh, uh, we would weld together a frame and get one of these squirrel cages out of an old furnace. And I'll demonstrate this here for you. And you can see how it goes the air here. After these, uh, we went to, uh, we found out a much simpler way, and that was to get a bicycle that was already, uh, on a stand, an exercise bump, I, we found these at garage sales, and so that we didn't have to build the stand. Next version that we had, uh, not the latest, but the next, and uh, uh, it's a better way because the stand is already built, the wheel is out here at the front, and we just put these belts around the, uh, the wheel. They're, they usually have a tire for I don't know what reason on them. Put the tire off the tire and we put on this belt. Now into the belt, uh, we can hook many things. Some things we just put pulley here on the wheat mill and then hook this on the bike. We also have generators, pumps. There are various things that we can run with these bikes. There are many other ideas you may use for moving the air. But the important thing is to move fresh air through the shelter. To understand why this isn't a radiation danger, you need to watch some of my other videos on radiation. Thank you for watching. And please remember that this series of videos is not just about your survival, but also about a service to humanity in preparing to reconstruct society.